हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एक्सटेंसिव कोचिंग दिस इज दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ जी टी ओ एल आई सी टू पंजाब सर्कल ओके इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू विल फाइंड इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर द ब्रांचेस लाइक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग एंड इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज आई इंजीनियरिंग ओके There are in this paper there are very simple and basic questions has been asked. This is very simple paper I will say. Okay, uh, if you are doing a diploma engineering, then also this is very important question paper for you because uh, almost these questions are of the diploma level. Okay, so let's start our very first question. Uh, 51 that is solution B. We are solving only section B. That is we are solving only. a technical part of the section okay section b first question 51 the maximum integer which can be stored on 8 bit accumulator is we know maximum integer which can be stored on 8 bit accumulator that is 255 okay because it is 8 bit which of the following memories is in computer is volatile this is a repeat question again and again asked okay ram is a volatile memory with the removal of power supply memory will be vanish which bus is bidirectional we know that the data bus is are bidirectional so data bus is bidirectional address bus is unidirectional convert the binary number into a hexadecimal number here you have to put 10 okay 0101 that is 5 and 1010 that is 10 that is a so 5a is the answer option c is the correct answer here next question question number 55 a file containing relatively permanent data is file containing relatively permanent data is a master file which disk interface standard includes support for up to 8 peripheral devices okay again one more thing answer key of this question paper was not available okay so uh, mark your answer in your paper okay uh, which this interface standard includes support for up to 8 peripheral device the options are uh, st50g oblique 412 ide scsi and esid scsi is the correct answer here which file system this type of question will not not ask further i think which file system does Windows 95 typically use Windows 95 typically use FAT32. Okay, we know that CPU performance is measured through throughput. Option A is the correct answer here. It's question number 59. Blank is technology that connects the machine and people within a site in a small area. That is in the small area, local area network. That is LAN. A blank refers to. ton signals used for various control purpose via the telephone network the correct answer will be dtmf okay uh, for toning we are using dtmf checksum is used for error detection we know okay in the crc we are using checksum it is for only error detection option b is the correct answer here man stands for metropolitan area network option b is correct next question number 63 routing in the same network may be termed as routing in the same network may be termed as local routing so option a is the correct answer here question number 64 if there is a fixed route information to each router if there is a fixed route information to each router that is called as fixed routing option a is the correct option here what is the actually not this is uh, what is the different uh, address of ram containing an arp request okay the purpose of an arp request is oh, so sorry not different what is destination address ha huh? uh, this uh, spelling is wrongly written what is the destination address of ram containing arp request a purpose of arp request is to find mac address of the destination host on an ethernet lan an arp process sends layer 2 broadcast to all devices of ethernet so what is the answer a broadcast mac address okay what is broadcast mac address ha uh, we discuss about it in the last paper solution uh, please answer me in the comment section ha uh. what is the broadcast mac address 
what is the address in example of broadcast address for class b network with the default subnet mask with the default subnet mask of class b the answer will be this is not correct this is not correct this is not correct this is correct option d is the correct answer 147.14.255.255 array is example of array is example of linear and homogeneous data structure array is always linear in general ha huh? uh, array is data structure used to store homogeneous element at contiguous location the size of an array must be provided before storing the data which of the following name relates to stack i asked you earlier in previous paper ha huh? stack follows which rule one or two students also answer in the comment section stack follows last in first out leaf four rule okay which is the example of adt abstract data type which is the example of abstract data type again all of this is the option string stack list all of these are the abstract data types so d is the correct option here the memory address sorry the memory session number 17 the memory address of the first element of an array is called as this is a repeats question base address question number 71 two main measures of sorry Question number seventy-one. Two main measure for the efficiency of algorithm are two main measure for the efficiency of the algorithm are time and space. Two main measures for the efficiency of algorithm are time and space. Option C is the correct option here. Question number seventy-two. Which one is not a graph algorithm? Which one is not the graph algorithm? Banker's algorithm is not a graphical representation. So it is a graph algorithm. So option D is the correct. Again the same from same algorithm. Next question has been asked. Ah, uh, seventy-three question number seventy-three. Which algorithm is used to avoid deadlock? Again, Banker's algorithm is used in avoiding deadlock. Banker's algorithm is a deadlock avoidance algorithm. It is also used for the deadlock detection. Okay. This algorithm tells that if any tree, any system can go into a deadlock or not by analyzing the currently allocated resources and the resources required by it in. Future okay. So to avoid deadlock, which algorithm we are using? Bankers. This news question okay. It can be asked in your exam. A symbol table is question number seventy four. A symbol table is a symbol table is related with the translation process. Data structure used by compiler or interpreter. Commonly implemented through hash table. All of these are correct. Again, option D as usual. All of these is correct. What are the advantage of DBMS? What are the advantage of DBMS? DBMS uh, entry relationship, entity relationship, uh, sorry. What are the advantage of DBMS? Uh, I am reading wrong answer. Huh? Redundancy is controlled. Unauthorized access is restricted. Providing multiple user interface. All of these are. Correct. Okay, so all of these are correct. Again, all of these is the options. All of this is correct. Option uh, in question number seventy-five, option D is the correct answer here. Which of which one is not a level of data abstraction? Which one is not the level of data abstraction? Okay, uh, physical level, logical level, and view level. Okay, these all are level of data abstraction. So in physical level, this is the lowest level of data abstraction. It describes how data is actually stored in database. You can get the complex data structure details at this level. Okay. Then logical level. This is a middle level of three-level data abstraction architecture. It describes what data is stored in database. And view level is the highest level of data abstraction. This level describes the user interaction with the database system. So it will be the answer. Data level will be the answer. Again, option D is the correct. <coughs> which is true about normalization which is true about normalization it is the process of organizing data into related tables it used to eliminate redundant data both a and b are correct about normalization so option c is the correct answer here next which of which one is not an example of rdbms micro ms access oracle mysql all are example of relational dbms that is rdbms ms excel is not example of rdbms 
okay or you can say uh, also dbase ms access oracle sql all are example of rdbms er again repeat this question okay in a one of paper solution we discuss about the er diagram in detail if you have solved that paper you will easily able to answer this question er in dbms stands for entity relationship option b is the correct answer here okay so question number 80 which are form of sql interactive embedded both both are the form of sql interactive and embedded okay next so question number 81 how many types of keys in the relational uh, database design primary key candidate key and foreign key we have discussed about all the keys in previous paper solutions option d is the correct answer here all of these which are the major stage of query processing okay query execution and query optimizer these both are major stage of query processing so option c is the correct answer here measurement refers to which of the following measurement refers to the output of the signal okay primary signal measure variable output of the signal is the correct answer here so option c is correct answer here okay one of this question where option d is not correct the purpose of as a instrument is purpose of the instrument is to allow measurement to be made okay so option a is correct answer here again all of these is not correct here next a null type of instrument as compared to deflection type of instrument has null type of instrument as compared to deflection type of instrument has a higher accuracy option a is correct answer here ballistic galvanometer is used to measure ballistic galvanometer is used to measure charge so option a is correct answer here next question number 87 maxwell vane bridge is used to measure again repeated question maxwell vane bridge is used to measure inductance okay in the last question paper one question was that which of the following bridge used to measure mutual inductance okay answer me in the comment section and second question was that which of the following use for the measurement of high value capacitance okay also answer me uh, this uh, answer me uh, okay so for this question in the comment section an instrument that is capable of measuring only dc is instrument that is capable of measuring uh, only measuring again repeat this question pmmc that is permanent magnet moving coil the instrument which can uh, measure ac and dc board that is electrodynamo type of meter okay next pmmc instrument gives uniform scale because pmmc uniforms uh, pmmc gives uniform scale because it is using spring control and the detection torque is proportional to the instrument current and that is option a and c are correct so option d is the correct option here next so question number 19 voltmeter should be of very high resistance so that it may draw current minimum possible okay so option c is the correct answer here in question number 19 so question number 91 polyphase generator produce simultaneous multiple sinusoidal voltage that are separated by that are separated by certain constant phase angles okay so option a is the correct answer here in question number 92 in series resonant bandpass filter lower value of q you know q is inversely proportional to the bandwidth so if a uh, lower value of q is there then bandwidth will be the higher one so a larger bandwidth is the correct option option d is the correct answer here next if transformer has 50 turns in a primary winding and 10 turns in the secondary winding what is the reflective resistance if the secondary load resistance is 250 ohm okay now the transformation ratio is equal to n1 divided by n2 and so 50 divided by 10 that is equal to 5 now the load resistance as referred to the primary proportional equal to s square into load resistance so as reflected load 5 square into 250 that is 25 into 250 and that is nothing but 6250 so 6250 is the correct answer the power factor of the arc in the circuit breaker is power factor of the arc in circuit breaker is always unity okay because in the circuit breaker of uh, v and i are in phase that is a resonance and at the resonance power factor is always unity okay 
a standard ice point temperature correspond to the temperature of standard ice point temperature which is correspond to temperature of mixture of ice and water under equilibrium conditions so option d is the correct answer here so question number 96 the value of cop in vapor compression cycle is usually okay sir what is cop here first question is in your mind what do you mean by cop and if you know what is cop then you can answer this question easily okay cop means coefficient of performance cop has been designed for vapor compression cycle and it is always greater than 1 because if it is less than 1 then efficiency will become more than 1 which is impractical okay however in the case of vapor absorption system it is less than 1 so here answer will be always more than unity option b is the correct answer here next question number 97 mass flow ratio for mass flow ratio of nh3 in comparison to ferron 12 for the same refrigeration load and the same temperature limits is of order of 1 gem 9 okay so option b is the correct answer here next question number 98 how many output would a uh, 28 line 23 line encoder expand to 16 line to 4 line encoder have so final output we, are, we will get that is 4 okay because it is expanded to 16 to 4 line so final output we will get that is 4 option b is the correct answer here next for an sr flip flop to be set or reset the respective input must be for set s it should be 1 for reset r should be 1 so respective input should be hi okay so input irrespective input must be higher next if for the jk flip flop are cascaded with their jk input tied high if the input frequency of the first flip flop is 32 kilohertz the output frequency if if the input frequency of the first flip flop is 32 kilohertz then the output frequency is as so we are using four flip flop so for using four flip flop we can design maximum up to more 16 counter okay and more 16 counter f in divide by f out that is uh, as f out is equal to uh, f your frequency in divide by mode n okay so 32 divide by 16 that is uh, 2 okay so 2 is the correct answer here very simple question this type of question generally ask ha huh? one more question i am asking you if i am using 1 megahertz input frequency and using mode 10 counter okay in cascaded with mode 10 counter then what will be the output frequency give me answer in comment section again i am repeating this question i am uh, taking a uh, input 1 megahertz frequency uh, i am giving input to 1 megahertz frequency to mode 10 counter and cascading one more mode 10 counter to it okay so what will be the output frequency of that counter okay or what will be the output frequency of that flip flop okay which of the following is an example of a counter with truncated modulus okay matlab and mode mode 8 mode 16 mode 32 can be desired but truncated means mode 13 okay so b is the correct answer here how many different states does the 2 bit asynchronous counter have different state 2 bit asynchronous counter have states that is 2 is to n that is 4 option c is the correct answer here when the output of a tri state ship register is disabled the output level is placed in the output of tri state disable tri state ship register is disable the output level is placed in float or high impedance state so option d is the correct answer here to serially shift a nibble of 4 bits of nibble means 4 bits okay of data into ship register there must be four cycle okay for four clock pulse a four bit we want to shift then we required four clock pulse to shift that whole bit okay blank conversion is the process of changing one of the characteristic of an analog signal based on the information in digital data okay answer is digital to analog conversion option a is correct here next question which of the following uses 
the highest bandwidth which of the following uses the highest bandwidth okay fm uses the highest bandwidth in am and sk twice fm fm uses the highest bandwidth okay typical bandwidth of fm is 200 kilohertz and typical bandwidth of am is 10 kilohertz which of the following is not used in analog to digital conversion uh, which if the following is not used in the analog digital conversion quantization sampling encoding we are using error correct error correction is not used we are is the answer error correction we are not using in the edit a to d conversion okay so option d is the right answer here so question number 108 thousands thousands of digital voice channels are combined by multiplexer okay so option b is the correct answer here again one of this question where all of these is not correct answer here huh? this is the only paper which contains more than two or three question where all of this is not correct the fiber used in long distance communication is the fiber used in long distance communication is the step sorry a single mode step index fiber okay so option c is the correct answer here step index fiber uh, that is in single mode we are using for the long distance communication single mode step index fiber highest capacity of digital microwave is highest capacity 1920 channel is given here okay next dwdm system are based on dwdm system are based on fdm and wdm that is option b option b is the correct answer here c band is used in satellite 4 c band is used in satellite for digital communication sir so option a is the correct answer here next uplink in satellite uses a higher frequency than downlink okay so option a is correct answer here but if you know the reason then give me answer in the comment section okay why we are using uplink frequency higher than the downlink okay this question has been also asked many times in many interviews and also in competitive examination okay why there is always uh, uplink frequency is higher than the downlink frequencies okay next question 114 which one is not an operating system which one is not operating system opera is browser it not operating system option d is the correct answer here which one is not a nos network operating system unix windows nt and linux all are uh, network operating system none of these will be the correct answer here option d okay next question 116 how many steps are in the system development life cycle okay sdlc we discussed about it earlier six steps are there in the sdlc the system the system development life cycle now usually six stages in the cycles are requirement analysis design development and testing implementation documentation and evolution the hard disk is divided into tracks with the further subdivided into sectors okay we generally use the removing bad sectors for removing of bad sectors defragmentation next a 25 pin female connector on the back of the traditional desktop computer will typically be serial port no sir it is not serial port huh? it is parallel port option b is the correct answer here when a computer is switched on where is the operating system loaded in bios sir no not in bios okay bios load your system but operating system loaded in ram actually so option d is the correct answer here okay bios load from ram or rom um, that is process of booting huh? your computer system uh, operating system is loaded from ram memory okay operating system is stored in ram an example of an application package is example of an application package is windows 7 linux os2 ms office ms office is an application package so option d is the correct answer here next what is the transfer rate of usb 2.0 typically 480 mbps that is maximum transfer rate of usb 2.0 okay if you know what is the transfer rate of usb 3.0 we are using now okay then answer me in comment section the pn junction diode is pn junction diode is passive device vacuum tube no unilateral device pn junction diode is unilateral what do you mean by unilateral sir unilateral means a unilateral device is a device that conducts only in one direction pm junction diode conducts only in the 
one direction if p is connected to higher voltage and n is connected to lower voltage then only pn junction diode connect okay and that's why also we are using a pn junction diode as the direction to show the direction of current okay always in circuit pn junction diode shows the direction of current reverse resistance of diode is of order of reverse resistance is always very high of diode because diode generally operate as a open circuit in reverse bias so in mega ohm option d is the correct option here which of the following is used as a passive component electric circuit uh, scr is active component vacuum diode general diode okay all are active component inductor is passive okay we know rlc inductor resistance capacitance are passive component which of the following is used as an active device in electronic circuit active device answer of this question if you know you can give answer of this question active device is scr which of the following is unipolar okay what is active device uh, if you know give me answer in comment section if and if you don't know ask me in the comment section uh, what is active device what do you mean by active device what is the definition of active device actually okay uh, which of the following is unipolar device which of the following is unipolar device fet option b is the correct answer here a transistor has 2 pn junction okay transistor has 2 pn junction emitter base and collector base what is the ideal value of input impedance for a voltage amplifier input impedance of voltage amplifier should be high as possible so ideal value should be infinite okay then what is the ideal value of op amp input impedance of op amp okay if you know that give me answer in the comment section what is a maximum value of input impedance in op amp that is possible and what is the ideal value of input impedance in op amp okay next operational amplifier i'm talking about okay the barrier potential of a silicon pn junction diode b barrier potential of silicon junction diode 0.7 volt option a is the correct answer here next sp stands for stack pointer option b is correct in 130 okay next question number 131 the external device is connected to a pin called the blank pin on the processor chip okay the external device is connected to a pin called a blank pin that is a interrupt pin option a is the right answer here in 8086 microprocessor the following has the highest priority among all type of interrupt okay nmi that is non maskable interrupt is having a highest priority among all type of interrupt in 8086 blank is a dedicated processor that combines interface unit and dma as a one unit that is input output processor io processor okay option a is the correct answer here which of the following represents question number 134 which of the following uh, which signal represents synchronization signal decided by the interprocess arbitration with a certain delay or signal dma that is answer is BAL option A is the correct answer here. The number of weight state required to interface 7 with 8 megahertz clocks are to be required two weight state. Okay, so option A is the correct answer here. Two weight state used so that device can function with the 8 megahertz clock. Okay, which is designed to automatically manage the handshake operation okay uh, we discuss about it uh, all these designs all this peripheral for handshaking we are using 8255 and again same question is asked 137 which more is used for double handshake in 8255 okay double handshake in 8255 answer of 136 given in this question of 137 okay which mode is used for the double handshake in 8255 we are using mode 2 for handshake in 8255 in adc 0808 if blank pin is high enables the output give me the answer what will be the answer we solve this question in the last paper oe okay that is option d here output enable next gain of microwave antenna is measured in db 
ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट आंसर हियर वन वोट पावर इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय हाउ मेनी डीबीएम वन वोट इन टू डीबीएम ओके सो इट विल बी अ थाउजेंड डीबीएम ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट वी इन द फर्स्ट और सेकेंड पेपर वी सोल्व वन क्वेश्चन माइनस नाइनटी डीबीएम इज इक्वल टू how many votes okay so give me the answer of that question minus 90 dbm is equal to how many vote okay typical range of microwave repeater is typical range of microwave repeater is 50k repeater question again option a is correct here a uh, cdma uses which modulation technique now this is a typical question actually cdma uses digital modulation techniques so answer should be ask here actually a uh, cdma uses a spread spectrum multiple access a uh, which technique which is uh, ssma which the most popular cdma technique achieved by the direct sequence modulation and frequency hopping modulation okay cdma often used with the bpsk actually okay but bpsk is not given in the answer you can use cdma with the ask which will not give a good result but But uh, BPS will get good good result. But combine any modulation scheme like quadrature amplitude modulation or orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. Okay, which typically makes it very robust and efficient. Okay, the frequency used for microwave link of BTS is. 15 gigahertz different bands we are using 15 gigahertz 18 gigahertz 21 gigahertz right now we are using for 4g higher frequency means okay then give me the answer it can also ask in the current question or in the gk question which megahertz which band we are using in 5g ha huh? what is the band of 5g because just 5g allocation the call in it is related to bsnl so it can be asked in your uh, gk or it can also ask in your technical also okay which band we are using for 5g high frequency means blank antenna size high frequency means smaller antenna size antenna size inversely proportional to frequency so at micro we are using very small antenna and in the 5g it antenna size will be very small ha huh? we are right now we are using very big antennas in 4g antenna size became small in 5g antenna size became further small okay very small antenna size we will use in 5g microwave travels in microwave travels in line of sight communication so l of l o c l o s okay that is line of sight not loc line of control so option a is correct answer here typical gain of 2 meter parabolic dish of and 2 meter diameter typical gain of 2 meter parabolic dish of 2 meter diameter that is 20 db option a will be the correct answer here okay the formula of gain is a uh, large there is typical value has been asked 20 db is the answer terrestrial microwave links are eliminated by curvature of earth okay the question which are not very important to you we are not discussing it in detail okay the question which are very important to you, you and it can be asked in next examination only that's question we are uh, learning in detail so if the same question or same type of question will ask in your net uh, next exam you can answer it easily okay microwave signal is microwave signal is electromagnetic signal so option c is the correct answer here next question height of geostationary satellites the 36000 km okay this uh, we have learned typically 35800 km something okay uh, what is in miles we discuss it earlier huh? what is height of geostationary satellite in miles answer me in the comment section which gives the highest capacity which gives the highest capacity sir is confused between bpsk and qm qm gives the highest capacity option d is the correct answer here 64 qm gives the highest capacity okay so this is all about the question paper of punjab circle jto lice 2013 this question paper is comparatively very easier then uh, we saw uh, the last paper we were told particularly of uh, 2019 himachal pradesh and ctd okay uh, if you are solving this paper and if you are not having much time then this is the example of easiest paper that can be asked ha huh? 2018 paper there is example of a medium level paper that can be asked okay again 
सीटीडी पेपर हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड 2019 uh, पेपर आर एग्जांपल ऑफ हाई लेवल कैन दैट कैन बी आस्क ओके सो दिस आर अ डिफरेंट पेपर डिफरेंट स्टाइल डिफरेंट level of questions are there in all the paper so we are solving this we are first solving the papers which uh, in which answer key is not given to you okay if you have any special recommendation then ask me to solve that uh, question paper of that circle we will solve that first okay uh, so oh, one thing again don't forget to like this video share this video with your colleagues and with your friends uh, and subscribe to subscribe my channel okay it is very important subscribe this channel and one more thing uh, press the bell icon so you will get the notification where when i will upload the next answer next solution of the question paper okay one more thing i want to discuss many students are asking me again and again sir how to prepare in the last week of exam okay we have start to prepare now okay we are start preparing from now so how to prepare in one week for this exam and one second question is how to prepare for gk and english okay gk is of class 10th level actually written in the syllabus so gk will be very simple it will uh, not that much of tough question that will be asked in your gk okay just go through the current affairs of last three months okay not not this this month okay uh, last three months means if ex your examination is in july then you have to go through current affairs of april may and june okay a maximum question from that current affairs will be asked english uh, typical comprehension questions are that there are very simple typical grammatical question asked for that you can uh, solve your basic english or you can take books of your uh, uh, high school english okay so that will help you hope that will help you i will make soon one video on how to prepare in the last week of examination okay thank you very much